welcome to another vlog, another week. Um, so I'm actually just busy making Jason some iced um, coffee. Dude, can you pour me, oh, um, can you hand me the ice quickly, please? I use these ice trays. They're quite small. Um, it's like this big. And that's quite nice for like lattes or like iced coffees. Although it's not that easy to get them out because they just kind of stay in there when you do this. Anyway, so I'm just going to put some ice in. And then we have this Trumpy Compe. It's like a coffee syrup but like a hazelnut flavor. Um, we It was quite inexpensive. So we bought this one to try out. It's fine. I mean, it's, yeah, it's nice. Um, Jason likes it. I don't really like flavored coffees, but he likes it. Um, so I'm just going to make him that. And then I put two espresso shots in and then just normal milk for him. So I'm just busy making that. But I bought some stuff at... Um, faithful to nature as well as the wellness warehouse which I'll show you now just a couple of things I found a lot um, anyway so you just pull this in I kind of pull that much in because we like try it with like one spoon or like I think like a tablespoon or whatever but you can't really then taste it it's quite it's either very diluted or just a subtle flavor so we pour a little bit more because you know it's a it's quite a tall glass um, of, you know, milk and coffee, so otherwise the hazelnut flavor gets lost. But anyway, so firstly, I know like a couple of vlogs ago, I went on a like a rant about oat milk and me not liking oat milk. Especially after I had like coffee at Vida and I didn't like the oat milk that was in it. And I don't know which brand they used, um, but then I kind of just assumed that I don't like oat milk but now I'm kind of coming back with my tail between my legs because uh, the other day I went to Woolies to the cafe and I wanted an almond milk cappuccino like always but they didn't have any almond milk or like unsweetened so I was like cool give me oat milk anyway he brought the cappuccino it was really good basically maybe the best cappuccino I've ever had like in my whole life and then I asked him to show me, you know, what milk they use. Anyway, so he showed me that they use this. And then today we had a coffee again at Willie's and it was again amazing. So went to the shops and then I bought some of that. So now I'm again in between if I do like oat milk, because I do like this oat milk, but maybe I don't like, you know, like other ones. This is the Barista edition, so maybe this one is different to other normal oat milks. Kind of the same as the almond milk, but anyway. And then I just got some uh, red lentil pasta. I've wanted to try this for a long time, so I got this, this one, so it will be interesting to see. So the Faithful to Nature now has like a flagship store in the waterfront. So I wanted to check it out and that's why I bought this. And then I just got some veggie straws, which is one of my favorite like chips. I would say I bought two packets of these, which I'm gonna like snack on now. But I remember when I still like stayed in America, we used to eat these veggie straws all the time. I assume it was a different brand. Um, I don't know if this is like a local brand, but anyway, so then when I saw this now, I was like, really need those. And then uh, the other thing that I bought was some powder uh, collagen. I've just read a lot of things about it being like really good for hair growth and, you know, for your bones or whatever joints. So I then bought this brand which I don't know if you can see it's beauty gen naked collagen anyway so I put this in my coffee last night and it really tastes like nothing but you can put it in juice and water smoothie oats or whatever so yeah I'm gonna see gonna try this one and see if I see specifically something 
um, change in my hair growth. And oh, and then I just bought like a spoon thing at the country road, which we didn't really go there for that. I was just going to walk around. I did see they have some new um, pieces coming out, like clothing pieces. Anyway, so here it is. It's just like this kind of spoon holder for when you like cook. And I thought it was a nice color. It was pretty inexpensive, you know, compared to like Le Creuset or whatever. So we just got this one because that's something that I always struggle with, with, with my spoon. Obviously, that's why I make these. And we've never had one. So I wasn't in love with the other ones I've seen before. And some is really expensive. So then I was like, this quite fits in with like our vibe. And it was pretty cheap. So yeah, got this one, which will be great. And yeah, let me just make the coffee because the ice is going to melt down. And then I will see you a little bit later. I don't really know. I have to edit a video today. And I also have to... What else do we have to do? We have to wash the car. We have to do some stuff in the kitchen. So we have a few things that we have to do. And then tomorrow we have a chris christening. Is that what you call it? A christening? Have a christening tomorrow so that's what we have to go to um but i think that's what the weekend looks like i know this week is going to be very hectic with work stuff um as, as per my calendar and how it's currently looking so i don't really know if this week is going to be very eventful um in terms of anything other than work but, but let's see i know we're going to do taco tuesday so i'll kind of show you um, what we do and the stuff we use for that. So yeah. just busy editing here and I was thinking that I didn't tell you earlier because I forgot but this week is actually the one year anniversary of me uploading videos onto YouTube which is quite bizarre because I don't think a year ago when I uploaded my first video that I mean the intention was there obviously to upload more than one video but I didn't know or I didn't think that I would be able to consistently for a year upload and I did vlogmas which was an everyday upload in December which was bizarre and yeah here we are one year later so yeah I just thought I'd mention that I hope there's many many more years of doing this it's really hard work and I don't think you know how intense it is until you start doing it yourself and how time consuming like it can be but i also really enjoy it and i actually can't imagine life without having it and like without like blogging our things that we do in our life and and i also really do enjoy the editing part of it although i'm like no expert and you know it's not very fancy and whatever but that's also why i chose kind of vlog style videos and not like you know cool cinematic kind of things like that anyway so that was just that I'm busy editing a video now um, while eating these very delicious veggie straws um, I don't know I'm, I'm this is gonna be a problem because these are not very cheap and I don't know if I'm gonna ever want to have any other like chips or whatever so I, I might run into a problem but this is not a local brand I checked it out it's from the UK so it's imported hence it being a little bit more expensive but yeah this, this stuff is the good stuff anyway so I'm gonna finish this video now I hope it doesn't take too long and then we'll see I, I, I mean I wouldn't mind taking a nap um, this afternoon but I don't think that we're gonna actually have time to take a nap. Anyways. So 
it is Tuesday today. Um, on Sunday, we just went to the christening, like I mentioned. And then we spent some time with family. And then yesterday, which was Monday, was basically a write off because it was so, so, so busy. Um, so, you know, there wasn't really anything to film because me and Jason was really busy with work. Um, so, yeah. But I did mention that I was going to bring you along with Taco Tuesday. We don't do this every Tuesday, but we have done it before. So, what we got for. Um, these tacos are these Woolies hard shell tacos. Just looks like that. Um, I do prefer a soft shell taco, um, but these were the only ones that I could find. Anyway, so we're gonna fill these up, and then I have one big avocado. I hope this thing is fine. Um, we'll see, because what a fail if it's not. Um, so we're going to make some kind of guacamole situation. Then I also got this spice mix, which I'm going to put on. Just got that. And then I'm going to just grate some mozzarella cheese. Next up, we have some salsa that I'm just going to put in a little, you know, um, container. I don't know if Jason would want some of that. I guess he would. I don't know if I'm going to use this as a smoked chili flakes because I'm thinking if the if I already have the spice mix maybe I don't even need these chili flakes and then I got the extra lean mince from Woolies and the corn mix thing and I think that's it we don't have sour cream so I think that's it from a taco ingredient perspective so anyway i'm just going to start making it jason isn't here he's at the shop um he's picking up something very interesting for me which i'll share with you maybe tomorrow um or somewhere in the week um but i want to make my own matcha i've never tried matcha before which i feel is quite risky because maybe i should go to like starbucks or wherever and first get a matcha and try it out but I'm very adamant that I want to make like a matcha latte so I'm gonna film it like making it and then tasting it with you guys for the first time so I might do that maybe tomorrow or the next day but I'll show you but for now let's just start cooking the food um, because I'm tired and I have some documentaries on Amazon Prime that I want to watch so yeah Let's get going with this. I think this week is going to be pretty uneventful going forward. So, yeah, that's why I kind of wanted to spend some time with you now while I'm cooking. Because other than, you know, my matcha adventure that I'll also film for you guys. Um, I don't think there's anything else that's happening this week. Like I said, it's quite a busy work week. But other than that, it's pretty chilled. I still can't believe yesterday was like my one year um, anniversary on YouTube. It's pretty bizarre. We didn't really like, you know, we didn't celebrate it or whatever. But um, I just keep thinking, I was like, wow, like it's been a year. Because it's like been a year since lockdown and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, okay, cool. I'm done rambling. Let's just keep going with this food. Okay, so I'm going to just position you here in the corner. I just use this coconut oil spray. We've used this for like forever. So I don't put oil in the pan. It's also like a pretty like a non-stick kind of pan. So you don't really have to like chuck a whole lot of like oil into it. Um, okay, that's done. Then I must get out the mince. So I'll first do the mince then the veggies and then season and then maybe while that's cooking we'll make the guacamole and then i think we're kind of good to go okay so i have my lean mince um which i'm just gonna kind of chuck in there okay so i'm just gonna put some salt on it Okay, so I'm just going to let that do its thing. Um, 
Mince is pretty quick-ish, um, I feel. So let's do the guacamole situation. Avocado, like I said, let me just get like a little uh, bowl. Okay, so I have my bowl. Let's see what this avo looks like. I am kind of concerned. Uh, it has like a little bit of brown in it. I mean, that's quite a lot of brown though. Maybe I can just cut that away. Okay, so it says that you need to sprinkle this into this avocado and then kind of mix it all together. So I'm just gonna do that. So I guess I don't need anything else. Yo, this taco seasoning smells super intense. Um, it kind of makes the guacamole brown, so, you know, screw it. If your apple is already turning a little bit brownish, then whatever. You won't even be able to see it. Um, I'm going to show you now what this looks like. It kind of, that's like what it looks like, you know, green and like orange combined. Okay, so my guacamole is done. I don't think I'm going to use these chili flakes. So I'm just going to pack this away. The salsa, we can kind of like just dish with a spoon. Okay. It's not, it's not done yet. But what I also really feel like making, and I might make it, technically I can make it now, because what else am I going to do now um, while we wait? So I want to make like chia pudding. And I also, like, never knew, like, what that was. Um, I thought, like, cool, oh, it's, you know, it's some kind of baked pudding or whatever with a lot of sugar and it's just being unhealthy. And I saw a lot of people eating it for breakfast and I was like, it might not be the, uh, you know, the best thing for me in the morning. But then I saw that it's not actually that. It's the pudding just consists out of um, chia seeds. Um, like that you can see what I wrote there anyway so it's like chia seeds and you know your preferred milk which I use almond milk or oat milk and you put that in a small container and then you put it in the fridge and tomorrow it's like a pudding so there's like no sugar in it so mm. I'm like that sounds like something that's really good especially if you like go to work and you want to like take a breakfast with because like I said, I only usually eat breakfast around 10. So I can't eat before going to work. So I kind of have to take something with. Um, and I thought if this is pre-made the previous evening and then I take it with then, you know. And I thought, make it and then take it with, take a banana with or some strawberries or, you know, whatever fruit. And then you can just like have the chia pudding with the fruit. Anyway, so I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. So... Seeing as my mint is taking way longer than any other time, I think we should just quickly make the chair pudding as well. And then maybe I'll just update you tomorrow as to how, how it went. Okay, I am here and I'm ready for making this pudding. So, first up, I don't really know how many spoons for this. So I'm going to put like two to three spoons in like a glass container. So let me just have a spoon. Okay. I love this is a fail. Anyway, let's let's go for it. So I'm gonna do like you know big spoons. Uh one and a half. I think these things grow <laughs> like I don't know, expand obviously when in liquid. So maybe I should just be you know use it sparingly for now. This looks weird. It looks like there's ants in the milk, which is totally weird. I really don't know how this is going to come out, but I mean, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to close it up and then, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry that it's so orange, but our lights are more yellow than white. Anyway, this is the uh, veggie mix that we use and I think I'm just going to pour it in now. So 
So I'm going to just wait for that. I'm maybe going to chill, watch some TV until it gets done. I'm sure Jason's going to be here soon. I also want to tell you quickly, I asked him to go and buy us some Monopoly deal. I saw some of my favorite YouTubers um, play Monopoly deal while they were in quarantine for two weeks. And like, it looked so nice. And it's only the two of them. It's not that you need this massive crowd to play the game, whatever. So hopefully tonight, maybe me and Jason can play like one game of Monopoly deal. Uh, let's see if we even like it or understand it, but it looks like fun. So, um, yeah, I'm super into board games, but it's, it's hard when it's only two people. It's all, you know, sometimes not as much fun, but um, apparently this is. So I'm going to, yeah, we're going to try it out and see if it's entertained us. Anyway, I will check in with you when I load my taco. Okay, so my stuff is done i just turned off the stove so i just grated some cheese as well the mozzarella i showed you so i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm gonna plate mine so long they do say that i need to heat this up so it just comes like this okay so i think i'm gonna put the guac first because then the mince and stuff can kind of stick on it So mine might not look as appetizing, but I'm pretty like plain person when it comes to food. But let's give it like a taste test situation. That seasoning is amazing in the ammo. And then also the one reason why we always buy this corn this Mexican corn mix is because it has like I think pieces of chili or whatever in it and it, it just has a good flavor to it already so you basically have to do no seasoning you just buy the bag of veggies it has the corn and the chili I think or red pepper and whatever else it has in it and I think there's black beans or whatever in it so it's like all-in-one kind of a veggie bag and that's very easy to just make as to chopping up different things and having to put in all the different separate ingredients especially if you're going to make like tacos or burritos i would suggest yeah or tacos burritos that kind of thing use this that seasoning one packet done there's so much in that one packet and yeah i mean this is pretty delicious so cheers <laughs> So it's the next day, it's afternoon now, um, this morning's been hectically busy again so I am only getting now to making this matcha situation that I spoke about. Um, this is kind of the brand um, that we got, we only got a small container like 30 grams just because like what if it really is bad and you know. And I don't like it and then I don't want to split a big container so anyway this is the first um, try at making it I googled some like how to make a matcha latte thing um, can you open this for me please um, so yeah we're gonna try it together it's only a little contain or like pack it like this so not a lot of it in there but anyway so what the tutorial or whatever said was that you should just take one spoon into a cup put warm water in it like 15 milliliters I think just to make the paste and then you can top it up with normal water and then milk and ice because I want to make an iced matcha latte and not like a hot one and um, so many people from what I read online said that the 
matcha in a cold form is a lot tastier than our hot latte so anyway we'll see i don't know maybe i don't like it you know hot or cold or anyway so but i'm gonna attempt a ice latte so let's let's see i'm gonna mess now so i can't show you but i'm just adding one spoon of it into the cup anyway there you go okay so let's let's try um, I'm gonna just go put some warm water in it to make paste. I most probably have a lot more water than I'm supposed to, but I'm just gonna put a little bit in. A very small amount. I have this very small, the world's smallest little whisk. So I'm going to take the spoon out. It looks like that at the moment. I'm just gonna whisk it. Um, Ugh, uh, it has a very funny um, smell, I mean it's most probably going to have a very funny taste as well, but it has, um, I don't want to say it, but it smells like tea with an after smell of anchovies, <laughs> which isn't a good start for the situation, because um, I don't feel like drinking an anchovy drink it's all kind of blended um, and now I'm going to top this off with water um, I'm going to put ice into my glass with some oat milk that I'm going to froth and then add this with it and see what it tastes like but I want to dip my finger in it because I Tastes like tea leaves. Anyway, let's get the ice. Okay, so I have my small ice cubes. Such a mission to get these out. I'm gonna go stand it just over the sink to get them out. So I have milk, oat milk that's been frothed cold, and then I have the matcha that you can't see, and I have my glass, and I added ice into it. Um, that's done. Let me get a straw to drink it with. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like. It has like a nice green-ish color. And then you just kind of swirl it around. Okay, it's just a taste test now. Uh, the oat milk disguises the anchovy smell that I'm getting. So that's fine because um, if it smells bad, you can't drink it. Why are you laughing? <laughs> anyway, so let's taste. It's fine. It's like tea leaves with a little bit of anchovy. It's not the worst. I think it's a flavor that you should get used to. I don't think you just like, like matcha right off the bat. People lie if they say that. But it's not bad. I'm just wondering why they would prefer drinking this over coffee. Oh, uh, because people don't want to drink caffeine. I don't think this has any caffeine in it. I kind of feel like it doesn't have caffeine in it. So people drink this as an alternative to coffee. It's fine. Do you want to come taste it? Yeah. Come. Let's see what Jason says. You know what it tastes like? Yeah. It tastes like green tea with a little bit of seaweed. I know what you're saying. Some fishy. But Some fishy. Yeah, but it's like the seaweed with sushi. It's not fully anchovy. There's no oiliness to it. Like no, man. The smelly oil. vibe. No, but fish. that's the ocean. That's why I say it smells like seaweed. Anyway. So it's like green tea with okay. seaweed. Okay. Yes. So that's what you can take away. That's our opinion. It is green tea with um, some sea some ocean vibes. Anyway, so that concludes my matcha tasting. We also finished Monopoly Deal last night. We played. 
we finished a game of Monopoly the last night, like I showed you. It was our first game. I'm not going to say that I won, but I'm not going to say that I didn't win. So, uh, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? So that was quite fun. So we all scheduled tonight to play another game of Monopoly Deal. So I hope you can redeem yourself. If you're good, you're good. But anyway, that's fine. Um, anyway, I think that's it for the vlog this week. Like I said, I don't think there's a lot of eventful stuff that's going to happen for the rest of the week. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. And I mean, if you're into like a you know, green tea, sea breeze kind of situation. You should maybe think of getting into matchas. Anyway, I'll see you next week. Bye.